Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to Camp Town RV. In today's demonstration, we're going to be looking at the Palomino Puma, established in 1968. Yes, I can read. Uh, it's the model 253 FBS. Um, it's 28 feet. It's super bang for your buck. Um, you can get into most campgrounds and campsites uh, with that without being stuck in an open field. Um, you'll notice that it's got the full fiberglass cap in the front. It would have LED uh, lights here when plugged into your vehicle so that you can see it behind you when you're turning your radius. Other people can see it as you're driving down the road and I'll have a couple other little small running lights as well. Uh, one of the things to notice is that obviously with the full fiberglass cap you only have one maintenance point and that would be here on the side. Um, this is uh, you know the, your tin siding which is great for maintenance if ever down the road you have some uh, maintenance issues that you can uh, take care of. Uh, easily if a branch uh, happens to you know puncture through or you have a an accident of what point uh, at, at some point you can always just take that panel out and replace the panel in one of the advantages is over fiberglass uh, another thing too to see is that you've got your diamond plated uh, uh, gravel guard here as well uh, you do have your landing gear that's operated here uh, with power uh, if you follow me to the other side, um, this does have solar power on the side, uh, which means that you can get uh, some solar panels and follow the sun, just plugging them in on the side here. You do have two propane tanks, one on each side. Uh, these are 20 pounders, but there's enough room there to upgrade to the 30 pounders if you wanted to. Um, here you do have um, a a decent amount of storage. I mean, keeping in, in mind that this is only 28 uh, foot long. Uh, so you do have some underneath. That's pretty standard stuff. You have your uh, 17 foot awning here. So if you're wondering what that looks like when it's open. Ta-da! Uh, as you can tell, you got your nice little LED strip light that goes across. You got some nice uh, mood lighting over here for your outdoor speakers. Uh, if you're wondering where those pesky metal stairs are that always rust out and stuff like that, and you have to do a little bit of more maintenance, uh, you do have your aluminum stairs that are adjustable depending on the terrain that you have on the ground. Nice and easy, super light, super sturdy, and wide. You got your nice little uh, handlebar to go in and out. A little bit of more storage uh, underneath your bench on the inside, and you do have your power jacks here that you can extend or your stabilizers. Uh, looking at the back here, you do have your barbecue bracket with your quick connect that comes off so you can put it underneath that section in the front. So all you'd have to do is just lift it up, put it away. And when you're done, this just folds in and you put the pin in it and you're done. You do have a full-size spare over here with your nice cover. And carrying on over to the back section, you do have a really nice big slide, which we'll take a look at when we get inside. You do have a nice little ladder that I forgot to point out to go and do your maintenance every spring and fall. Just a little bit of caulking goes a long way for your investment. Coming on inside, you've got plenty of room inside here for when you're watching the game. Touchdown! Hey Steph, there's no TV installed. Right. Uh, and over here, if you do have some intruders or guests, depending on your viewpoint, um, you'll be able to see what that looks like. Like magic! And I'm six foot one, so obviously, you know, it's good for one or two full grown adults or a bunch of little munchkins. And obviously that was that particular sleeping area and you do have this nice little sleeping area over here. It's a nice little jackknife sofa. It's pretty simple and surprisingly comfortable. If you don't take my word for it, come on in, take a look for yourself. Obviously you've got some nice room over here. What we've seen people do in the past, they just get themselves a nice little ottoman. That way you can put some blankets in there, some pillows in there, put your feet up have your TV dinner on it, whatever be the case. You got a nice space over here to put your drinks down on both sides. You got a nice little cubby hole underneath both sides. You've got these blackout blinds that are super nice and easy to drop down 
one of the things to see is that they're super easy to clean as opposed to some of those fabric blinds of old. So that way you get tons of privacy instantly and super easy to maintain. You do have some storage underneath the banquettes with some nice tongue and groove cabinetry. You've got the one big slide. Uh, as you come over here, you do have some storage right away as you come inside. Uh, you, your brains of the operations are here. That's pretty much standard stuff. Uh, obviously, it, if you see a bracket, it'll come on with the television. And you've got your uh, sound bar here with your DVD player, your CD player. You've got your Bluetooth. You've got your working fireplace here that's got a multitude of different color uh, settings for it. So it doesn't have to be the blue if you don't like the blue. And it also, obviously it pumps out heat as well. So that way you're not always reliant on the propane heat for those times of seasons that you just want to be able to just take a little bit of a chair out of the air. You've got some nice little funky lights here that you can turn off. It's pretty standard stuff. Uh, you got your fold back backsplash. You've got your drying rack here, if you wanted to, that just peels back, right? And then you can have half if you want. You got your deep stainless steel sink with your telescopic uh, wand. You've got your pre-wired for your Wi-Fi, so you just have to get your router. You got your antenna up on top already, you just plug and play. And one of the things to that uh, Forest River does who uh, now owns Palomino, uh, is that you've got unlimited roadside assistance benefits for the first full year of ownership. So flat tire, you got locked out of your car, towing, whatever, if you ever need that. Here, I forgot to show you that on average, this, this heating plate is usually around here. They've lowered it, so that way you can almost get a full-size bird in there, which is nice. Get your uh, microwave there. And uh, full-size fridge, and this is the fridge um, by Everchill, and uh, their claim to fame is that you it runs on a 12-volt compressor. So what that means is that you can actually run that for three days just off of the car battery, or the deep cycle marine battery, mind you, uh, that, that this unit will come with. And, uh, and then if you get the solar power assist, you could be boondocking or being off grid endlessly uh, with that unit without ever having to rely on propane. So follow me to the back here where you'll notice that you've got an amazing section of storage, right? Nice and deep, right? Nice and wide, plenty of room. You got your double wardrobe here. You can hang your stuff up if you need be. You got your sock drawers, underwear drawers, what have you. Coming on into the bathroom, one of my favorite features in trailers is when they have the big stand-up shower. Again, with the glass doors. Keep it in mind, like I said before, I'm six foot one. Plenty of space for some of your taller people, and plenty of space to get the job done. Uh, this is pretty standard over here. Nice little corner unit. That gives you a little bit more room in this area. Um, yeah. And then going back to the bedroom, uh, plenty of room. You've got uh, a great uh, CPAP storage area here for both, if not one machine. You've got your, your plugs for your USB and your tablet or what have you. You do have on this side here, you get your TV backer plate. You can hang a television there if you'd like to. You're already uh, set up for that. You've got storage above and on both sides. Pretty standard stuff. You got storage underneath the bed as well. And for a little bit of privacy, you do have a little bit of a bifold curtain. But this is primarily for a couple's trailer. Uh, I forgot to mention outside that this is only 6,788 pounds. So even, you know, a low-end powered uh, pickup truck would be pulling this easily. It's got a 2,000 pound cargo carrying capacity. 
So you'd be maxing out at about 8,800 pounds. Uh, thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.